Aaron, it was reported on the TBS broadcast that Severino didn't throw his first warm-up pitch in the pen until 7.32. Did he, in fact, warm up late? And if so, why? No, he got his normal um, pitches, routine, faced his couple hitters down there. Um, so, no, no issue with that. I'll stay right there, Ryan. Aaron, he appeared to get hit pretty hard through the three innings. What did you see that made you feel comfortable with him to start the fourth? Um, <clears throat> just hoping he could he could get something started to get through the bottom of the lineup there, and then um, and then we would have had Lynn. Re we we're gonna have Lynn ready for bets no matter what, and then um, and then once the first two guys got on there, thinking Bradley's in a bunning situation, so we're gonna take it out and then go and then go to the pen there. But um, it just snowballed on him, and and then uh, you know Lance had a little bit of trouble, obviously coming in there. So it just turned into a really bad inning for us. Uh, Tyler in the third row. With all of your power relievers available or off yesterday, why not go to one of them instead of Lynn in that spot? Well, because with uh, Dellen, we, we figured we only had for an inning tonight. Um, you know, in certainly in hindsight, we could have started the fourth inning with Robbie or something, um, but we really felt like Sevy could at least get us a couple outs in that fourth inning before turning it over to Lynn, and then we could roll out our guys. Um, but we just we just couldn't stop the bleeding at all. So um, that was that was the thinking behind it. Uh, Ron in the first row. How hard is it to flush a game like this out of the minds by tomorrow? And what went into the decision with Romine there? Uh, no choice but to flush and you know the the good thing around today is it's it's one game and as awful of a night as it was for us we got to turn the page and tomorrow's obviously do or die um, with Roe it just got to that point you know obviously you hate doing something like that um, but we just felt like you know, not wanting to use Robbie, Britton, Dellen, or Chappie in that spot, knowing that, you know, we're going to want them all potentially f up to a couple innings tomorrow if we need it. So uh, that that's what went into that. Standing right, right, Joel. Aaron, you explained it as the bottom of the lineup and hoping to get Sebi through, but he seemed to be getting hit very hard mm -hmm. in those three innings. And you had talked about the urgency of this time of year in your pregame mm -hmm. press conference. Should that have mitigated trying to get through the bottom of the lineup there? Um, I mean, in hindsight, because he didn't get an out, sure. Um, but you also under, uh, understand with feeling like Dellen's a little short tonight uh, and not probably having him in a multiple inning situation and, and down three there, you're trying to kind of steal every out. And then once you get to Bradley, um, knowing it's a bunning situation probably, um, we just kind of stuck with them and then hoping Lynn, Lynn for those, you know, righties at the top that didn't work out well and, and that inning snowballs on us. But um, that, that was the thinking behind it. And against the wall on the right. Uh, what did you think about Severino's stuff and where did you notice any issues that he was having? And when particularly, particularly did you notice that he might just not have it today? Um, I didn't think he was overly sharp from the get-go. Um, I thought stuff-wise he was okay. Um, you know, it certainly didn't seem as electric as his last time out. I thought he shaped some pretty good sliders. Um, he was mixing in his change-up enough. I thought the, the Red Sox did a really nice job um, of of laying off close pitches. So they didn't expand much at all uh, in those early innings against him so that kind of hurt him a little bit so um overall not as sharp obviously as you know he, he he was his last few starts um but i also feel like not not too far off stuff wise and tyler on the third row when when lynn comes in with the bases loaded nobody out he's obviously not usually a reliever do you mm -hmm. factor that that into it that another reliever would have more experience in that kind of yeah yeah i mean it, but we also and, and when we brought him in in Boston, we kind of thought in terms of that. Um, but we also feel like we're we're past that and we're through that. And we feel like Lance, you know, in a lot of ways against righties gives us our best chance. And, you know, he just didn't really have it tonight. But stuff-wise, the reason he's 
down there and in that spot is is for that part of the lineup and you know he just came in struggling right away with his command um so you know that so the inning just got away I'll take a few last ones johnny in the corner and uh, what was Valdi so tough you know he's he's obviously um he's been tough on us all year um and he you know once he got the lead he just continued to pound the strike zone um you know the cutter was a factor he, he mixed in some breaking balls and some splits but um was able to locate and elevate his his four seam fastball it seemed like he mixed in some two seamers as well which isn't something he does a lot of it seemed like that anyway from from the side but you know he once again was was an issue for us I'll take two last ones, Mark. Aaron, in the start of the fourth inning, the first two guys reach a base against Severino. I don't think he had a guy up until after that second hit. Was just wondering why he waited until Lynn was up. I think he was up actually after the first bat, first pitch. Right, and he was up bef the inning before we were getting him ready like we're, too. So we didn't feel like um, we were just th through the bottom of the order. We the matchup we wanted was Lynn through the top uh, w against the righties. So you know. Once those two guys got on and it became a bunning situation, we were just going to ride Seve through that spot. I'll take a last one from Bob over here. Aaron, I just, just wanted to clarify because TBS was making a big deal that, that Seve only had eight minutes to warm up. I'm, are you saying that they were, they're wrong? Yeah, I'm not saying. I'm saying he had his... He had he had plenty of warm up. He had, he had what he intended to go down there and get done. And and Larry said he was able to get through his his normal routine where he faces a couple hitters and everything. So it wasn't an issue.